Hey, this is Sean Conrad, and I want to talk about making sure that you're not telling people what is important to them and what is not so important to them. Because we don't know if we have not walked in their shoes. And sometimes we do this unintentionally. Because somebody might have an issue with something or they might have a certain belief about something or they may feel ashamed about something or something that you say may affect them in a way that you cannot understand. And we just really have to be careful not to measure that if we have not experienced it. So the way I like to bring this home is if someone is concerned about or thoughtful enough or depressed about or disappointed about or is excited about X, Y, and Z, you as their friend should take the opportunity to, to give that 100% priority. Because it's important enough for your friend, or it's important enough for your coworker, or important enough for your team member. And it has to be given priority. Because most people don't bring things up just because it doesn't mean anything to them. They don't tell you something bothers them because it doesn't mean anything to them. They don't, they don't cry about it because it doesn't mean something to them. They, they get excited about it and passionate about it because that particular topic means something, means something to them or their people or their culture, or their orientation, or how people see them. And that's worthy enough of your attention. If you are really a friend, if you are really a, a good mentor, or, or a shoulder to lean on. So when someone is talking about something that you they keep bringing up often enough, whether it's a problem at work or a, a problem with a certain group that is not giving them fair treatment, try not to say, don't, don't worry about it, man. It'll work out. Or try not to say, you know, you always talk about the same old thing. Take a moment one day and, and listen and say, tell me more about it. Find out what it is that pricks that nerve, that 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 makes their eyes well up. You'll you'll find out a lot. You'll find out a lot. You'll be able to sympathize. You'll be able to sympathize and realize things about yourself, about privilege that you have, about awareness that you did not have before they shared this this with you these things will open you up to be more sympathetic to what others are going through and that's really important if you're trying to move forward if you're trying to understand how people work why would you want to do that maybe you're an entrepreneur and you're starting your own business and these are people you want to sell to how are you going to do that effectively and at the highest level if you don't understand what excites them and what hurts them? If you're a company and you don't have any clue of what is sensitive to, to certain people or what makes them excited, how, how will you be able to relate? How will you get your product to them effectively. Or maybe you think you are already doing that. 
But that percentage of sales that you have now, that impact in that community that you're not so close to right now, that percentage can increase by threefold, fourfold, if you really tap into that, that market, that thinking, that, that space that you are just not familiar with. So going back, let's not be quick to judge or be quick to measure other people's experiences and, and put limits on other people's feelings. Because if it's important enough for them to yap about it, to say something about it, to voice it, it must be important. It must be important enough to, for somebody to listen, for somebody to, to just take a moment and try to relate or try to understand what's really happening on a deeper level.